is Lana here, and as you can see, we are playing Gabriel Knight, Sins of the Fathers. Just wanted to let you enjoy that introduction there. Um, I find the soundtrack to this game quite enjoyable. It's one of my favorite game soundtracks, in fact. <coughs> also, I'm having some issues with my mic, and um, I couldn't turn down the in game music until now. So, now that I've done that, I will hopefully provide you with some helpful and entertaining commentary. So without further ado, here's Gabriel Knight. here they tend to help <clears throat> mm-hmm I bet just a minute it lives I see do you want to speak with Lolita no. I'm sorry but Gabriel is allowed oh I mean he's out Yeah, if he ever comes back, I'll tell him. You know, you could do better. I know I don't know you, but you could do better. Sure. Bye-bye. Okay, Good thanks. morning. The phone's been ringing off the hook all morning. Let me know when you want your messages. Yeah. Gee, you're lively. Did you have another nightmare last night? Sort of. Mm-hmm. I told you, it's that voodoo book you're researching. That stuff can seriously screw up your karma. I'm sure that's it. Maybe I should write a horror novel on passive resistance instead. <laughs> <sighs> so don't sleep. It's your body. Anyway, your handheld tape recorder came today. Really? Great. That tape recorder, by the way, is pretty infamous. Throughout, um... Games one I can't it. wait to see what human rights you violate with this one. Yeah, see, there you go. I can't wait to violate them. <coughs> For example, if you would just let me... And I located some local voodoo references for you. Dixieland Drugstore and the Historical Museum of Voodoo. Both are right here in French Quarter. How would I ever manage without you? You? Give me a break. The devil himself couldn't change you. Well, if the devil had great legs, perhaps, like yours. And a riveting personality, I'm sure. Well, if you need any more research done, just ask. It's not as though we're swamped with customers. And here we go. So, Gabriel Knight was originally released in 1993, I believe. A long, long time ago. Just um, some background about me. My dad played this game, and the second one, and I watched him play them when I was a little kid, so I have a really personal attachment to this game. And I played them when I got older. And um, they are still some of my favorite games, you know, despite the graphics and everything, but um, they really have a certain charm to them. Um, but yeah, so it's a point-and-click adventure game. Uh, you got your controls up here. Walk, interrogate, ask, see, observe, pick up, operate, push, open door. And, um, you know, you just use these throughout the game, gather inventory, that sort of stuff. So, let's take a look around the bookshop. Actually, Curry said we had messages, so we should probably inquire about them. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Do you have messages for me? Dana called, and uh, Susie left a message about a lawsuit. Toss him. Okie dokie. There's more when you want them. Do you have more messages for me? Your grandmother called. I keep meaning to get over there. What does she say? Did she sound good? She sounded great, and we had a nice little chat about you. Grace. Don't worry. 
I didn't go into detail about your cardinal sins. Not that anything about you could surprise her. She adores you anyway. She's my girl. But she said to remind you to stop by and go through your father's things. Hmm. Okay. That means it's something important. Do you have more messages for me? Do you have more messages for me? Here's a strange one. You got a call from someone named Wolfgang Ritter? He said he was calling from Germany. He told me it was urgent. Maybe you should give him a call. Call Germany? Like hell. If it's really important, he'll call back. Okay. Well, fine. Let's just hope he's not with the German lottery for pitiful American authors. You, you know, Gabriel, if you get a call from someone named Wolfgang in Germany, it's probably important, but, uh, you know, do what you want. What do you know about the voodoo murders? Just what I read in the paper, same as you. So, we should probably read the paper. What can you tell me about voodoo? I didn't know much of anything about it until you started researching it for your book. Now I know that it's active in the city. There's that shop and museum. It can clearly be dangerous in the wrong hands. You should be careful investigating it. How about New Orleans? What can you tell me about New Orleans? Well, I've only been here two months, but I love it. It's so much more alive than any place I've been. It feels like anything's possible here. actually requested that our family trip be to New Orleans last year because I had such a hard on about this game. Um, and my mom actually obliged and, um, yeah, I went to Bourbon Street and blah blah blah. Alrighty, so... important. Mind if I borrow the magnifying glass? No, Sherlock. Just bring it back when we get the next estate shipment. No problem. I'm going to take the tweezers for a bit. Good. You're beginning to look a little scruffy. Just trying to make you feel at home. As you can see up here, um, I probably played this game about five or six times, and um, all the times I played, I don't think I've managed to ever get all the points. So it'll be interesting to see how I do this time. You do get little points for reading the newspaper and stuff like that, though. So let's start up on the right foot. Times Picohune, dated June 18, 1993. The front page has an article about the voodoo murders. The article says that the victims are all identified as members of the underworld. The general public of New Orleans is in no danger. Police claim the so-called voodoo trappings found at the crime scenes are fake, a scare tactic, and that the murders are not associated with any genuine practitioners. Genuine, sorry, genuine. Gabriel also scans the Aquarius horoscope for the day. Potential storms ahead. Proceed with caution and do not get involved with anything new at this time. Mm, right. Hey, Kelly. Um, so, we're in a bookshop. And, uh, there are all these books. I believe. You can pretty much check out each shelf. The books cannot be operated! Oh, Gabriel leaps through a German-English dictionary. Let's see, mid-tag means midday noon. Good to know. Gabriel oh, leaps okay. through a German-English dictionary. Spiel means game. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting, he has a German 
English dictionary and you got a call from someone in Germany, huh? Gabriel's had all those books in the bathroom and doesn't oh. care to read them again. The history books on that shelf don't interest Gabriel at the moment. Well, let's check out our little uh, man cave in the back. Fabulous. Okay. The typewriter is too heavy to lug round. Yeah, well, you never know when you'll need a typewriter. Uh, that's the phone. How about if I threw that stuff away, it wasn't worth reading. Mm -hmm. Got a little Mardi Gras mess there. Gabriel might as well leave that here. Okay. How about in our bathroom? I'll take this hair gel. You never know when you'll need a touch-up. Especially when you're Tim Curry portraying a southern guy. All my clothes look the same, so why change them? Gabriel might as well leave that here. Okay. 